Hello everyone, in this video I will share my review for the Hyon Canvas Pro 16 2.5K pen display tablet. Thanks to Hyon as well for tablet review opportunity. I will share my experience using it and what I like about it and my overall impressions. Let's start with the unboxing. The tablet has a 15.8 inch screen and has QHD resolution which is 2560 by 1440 pixels. The pixels per inch is 186. The tablet surface has a anti-glare glass which reduces glare from the outside windows and environments. The tablet is thin 1 cm in thickness and has smooth edge bevels. The back side is metallic and is quite strong. It is quite portable as well and the weight is about 1.28 kg. The good thing is that the tablet box contains many useful things. We have a foldable tablet stand, power adopters, four different types of cables, the pen is battery free and requires no charging. The pen holder contains 10 extra nibs, 5 standard type and 5 textured. The textured ones feel more paper type during drawing. The pen offers 8192 levels of pressure sensitivity. A tablet glove, a cleaning cloth and a quick setup guide. Now let's look at the stand. It is foldable and offers different high-low angle positions. Now let's start setting up the tablet and turn it on. I'm gonna connect the power cable on the side, then connecting the other side to the HDMI port, press the power button on the corner and it is on now. You can mirror the main screen from your laptop, desktop or set them up to show completely two different spaces. On the left side of the tablet are eight shortcut key buttons. Before using the tablet, make sure to download the tablet software drivers from the Heon website so your device is properly detected and configured for use. Once the software is installed, you can open it where you can easily change different settings for your tablet. Let's look at it. The first screen is the press key. Here you can assign any shortcuts on the side keys of the tablet like double click, run program or almost any operating system key. The next screen is the working area. Here you can change the tablet rotation. For example, if you would like to bring the shortcut keys on the right side, on the lower side, you can do it from here. Left hand users may find it useful. You can physically rotate the tablet as your working style. The pen screen allows to set up shortcuts for the buttons on the pen. In the pressure sensitivity adjustment, you can test or change the pressure settings. I am using default settings. Another good feature is that you can add different software profiles to use from here. My setup is that the tablet is connected to my laptop. I am also using a keyboard and a mouse alongside and it makes it much more easier for use to perform other tasks not just limited to drawing across both screens. Let's do some screen image quality tests and see how the colors and the overall visuals look. I will zoom into a few images to check how good the colors and pixels look. Please keep in mind since this is a recorded video, the actual tablet results are very clear and high quality.
one thing i would like to show is that you can resize your ui interface from the operating system display panel i have changed my size of text apps to 200 percent to match it with tablet resolution screen otherwise it might appear too small in some softwares i am using photoshop now let's check pen pressure and drawing performance all settings are default you can see the pen is very responsive with no lag. If I tilt the pen to draw strokes, the resulting strokes match the pressure angle. Zoom in more to see how the pen works on the screen. The drawing experience is very good and feels responsive. There can be a very minimal lag sometimes, but it is not noticeable during drawing. Here without any pen pressure, you can see how the strokes look very thick. But with pen pressure on, it produces far more natural results as you would expect. Next, I will be using Blender. In 3D, most of the use of tablet will be for sculpting and painting textures. Start with some sculptings. The pen pressure here again seems to be working fine and changes according to the angle and pressure applied. There is no noticeable lag here. The next area will be to paint colors on your models. This is one key area where a tablet helps a lot giving a far more better control than using a mouse. You can see each stroke has its own pen pressure being applied. The next part is a small sculpting time lapse demo with the tablet. The best feature of this tablet is the display. It is great in size and resolution. It does not feel small or too big. The 2560 by 1440 resolution is more than enough for most users. The tablet packaging comes with a lot of things like the different power cables, adjustable stand as I have shown you before. It is easy to connect with a PC, laptop or even a mobile. You can use the tablet as second monitor as well. Another good thing that I really liked is the driver software which seems to be stable and good. I had no issues on Windows 10. Everything seems to be working as expected and I did not change any settings. If we consider the display quality, resolution, good warranty and the entire package as a whole, it makes a very good deal in the end. You would most likely want to get a solid reliable tablet to use for a long time in future. Also, I would like to mention there are discount sales as well where you can get even a lower price. Overall, Canvas Pro 16 2.5K tablet is great. I hope this video review helps you in some way. If you have any comments, questions, welcome to share in the comments below. Check Hyon website along with their other tablet products as well if you need something else according to your budget. Thank you very much for watching. If you like to see more content in the future then make sure to subscribe. 
like the video and turn on notification bell and I will see you in the next video.